What is the difference between the log of 10 and the log base 10 of 10? The logarithm of 10 is 1. The logarithm base 10 of 10 is also 1. Actually, they are the same. This type of logarithm is called Briggsian logarithm or common logarithm. It is a logarithm with base 10. It doesn't matter if you write 10 as the base or not. The value still the same. If you saw logarithm like these, log of 1.43, log of 1000, log of 5 raised to 12. It's understood that the base is 10. Did you know? Briggsian or common logarithm was invented by Henry Briggs. He was an English mathematician who lived around 1561 to 1630 in England. His writing serves as tool for the widespread acceptance of logarithms in Europe. It helps mathematicians, astronomers, and other scientists who make long and tedious calculations. Briggs published Logarithmorum Cilius Prima or Introduction to Logarithms. In this book, he offered a brief explanation of his invention, together with the logarithms of numbers from 1 to 1000. Did you know? Set theory was founded by a German mathematician named George Ferdinand Ludwig Philipp Cantor. He was born in 1845 in St. Petersburg, Russia and died in 1918 in Halle, Germany. He was known today as the father of set theory. Contributions 1. He founded set theory. 2. He introduced and coined the term transfinite numbers. 3. He also advanced the study of trigonometric series. Notable work Contributions to the founding of the theory of transfinite numbers. Today's mathematician was a disciple of Galileo Galilei. He was Bonaventura Cavallari. He was born in Milan, Italy in 1598. He was a member of the Jesuati religious order and a mathematics professor at the University of Bologna. As an Italian mathematician, his greatest contribution in the field was his method of indivisibles. This method is useful in determining the size of geometric figures similar to the methods of integral calculus. This became the standard tool for solving volumes until the introduction of integral calculus near the end of the 17th century. Here are some of his writings. 1. A certain method for the development of a new geometry of continuous indivisibles. 2. A general directory of uranometry. 3. The burning glass, or, a treatise on conic sections. 4. Plane, spherical, linear, and logarithmic trigonometry. If Euclid is the father of geometry, then who is the father of projected geometry? Projective geometry is a branch of mathematics that examines the connections between geometrical figure and the images, or mappings, that result from projecting them onto another surface. Gerard Desargues is known as the father of projected geometry. He is also the man behind the Desargues theorem. The theorem states that if two triangles, situated in three-dimensional space, are related to each other in such a way that they can be seen prospectively from one point, then the points of intersection of corresponding sides all lie on one line, provided that no two corresponding sides are parallel. Can you find the area? In this problem, we will use the formula. A equals the square root of S times, S minus A, times S minus B, times S minus C. Where? S is the semi-perimeter, and a, B, C are sides of the triangle. Let's start solving. First, write the formula. Second, substitute the given. To find S, we need to add the given sides and divide the result by 2. By adding the three sides, you will get the perimeter. By dividing it by 2, you will get the semi-perimeter. 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 2 is 6. Therefore the semi-perimeter is 6. Then, substitute the value of A, B and C. Third is simplify. Therefore, the area of the given triangle is 6 square units. Did you know?
This formula was invented by a Greek mathematician, geometer and inventor named Heron of Alexandria. Heron's formula is used to find the area of the triangle given the three sides. He also invented the Yalapile. Here are some of his notable works. Dioptra. Mechanica. Metrica. And. Nematica.